<laughs> I'm a big fan of hashtag <laughs> badass Bo and Ma as well. I think people who know me on this call will know I'm not philosophically opposed to decongestion pricing. And in fact, it has worked uh, very well in many other jurisdictions. However, even before the pandemic hit, we had made clear that our priorities and expectations for a decongestion pricing plan here uh, would be chief among them, that it would be fair and equitable from a socioeconomic perspective. So the last thing we want to do is to be punishing people for not being wealthy enough to live close to where they work. The pandemic has also thrown a huge challenge our way and will necessitate careful consideration that governments will need to make around any kind of additional costs that are applied to people. Any form of decongestion pricing must take these challenges into account and needs to work in a way that is socially just. At the provincial level, I have to be clear, it's not in our platform. And given the impact COVID-19 has already had on people, John Horgan has stated very clearly today that it would not be supported by our government at this time. NDP insiders are now talking about a road tax up to $3,000 per vehicle. Are you prepared to commit right here, right now, that there will be no such road tax under any NDP government? I can commit to that right here, right now, Andrew, because you're just pulling that out of thin air. That's not part of our platform and never has been, never will be. 